Okay, sixth grade, we are going to start a new project today. We are going to be working on a uh, snowman and uh, we're gonna add some uh, design element to uh, the snowman as we go. So uh, we are gonna get started with that. So we're gonna turn to a new page in our sketchbook and we're gonna want that to go portrait style, all right? And you're going to need a pencil in the beginning here because we're going to work on our designs. So there's a couple different things you can do with uh, your snowman. We do want it to fill this space. So it should be almost to the top, almost to the bottom. So lightly, I'm going to put in the shape of our snowman. And so you can see here, uh, just like a normal snowman, smaller, medium, bigger from there. It could be this simple. Um, we, could, we could just keep it kind of plain like that. We could go in and add um, some simple snowman features. Could leave it just like that. You could add more if you wanted to. There could be um, maybe some branches for arms all right just a simple light drawing uh, you could even get a little bit more advanced you could have a hat you could put a scarf uh, you could put some shoes on it doesn't have to be that way could be fairly simple all right uh, I'm gonna go put the hat in here so keeping something kind of rounded Something like that. Kind of going up from there. So it can be that simple. Our next step will be that we are going to add some lines into this for our designs. So we kind of want to go with the curvature of the snowman. And we want to make sure that each little strip that we're putting in is enough space to put a nice design all right and I still want to stay with the curve you know this so we got a rounded part right in here I could change the thickness of it I guess um, we don't want to have only a couple lines in here we want to be able to have uh, several areas what I got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I'm already at eleven um, when you go through this top part here just make sure that you don't go through your drawing those will end up being a little bit darker in the end um, you could even continue on to the hat so you're looking at about 15 to 20 spaces um, to start worrying on working on your designs for your snowman if you've got some more details in there uh, like I showed you before you know, you might have gone in with a scarf. Uh, just make sure that you kind of go around some of those areas. Um, we'll end up making those kind of dark, but you'll be able to maybe make a nice pattern on the scarf as well. So I kept mine nice and simple. And then we want to give each one a uh, unique design. All right. So I will have attached uh, some papers that have some really cool uh, designs in them that you can choose from and just in pencil you're gonna go in and you're gonna start to add a different design for each section it doesn't matter where you start as long as each one has a different feature to it all right and they can be as detailed as you want um, if you've got a ruler or straight edge you want to use for some lines, that's fine too. Um, we already have the curve of what's going on there. doesn't necessarily mean that the curve has to stay um, with what's going on. For instance, if I wanted to maybe make some diamond shapes, I'm just staying within my area. I can go in, 
if I wanted to add more to what's going on, I could do that as well. I may add a second line in here. Really what we're trying to do is just get about 15 to 20 different designs going on for your snowman. All right. Please don't make your snowman too small. You won't be able to fit in some of these nice designs. You can see I've gone almost all the way to the top, pretty close to the bottom down here as well. And I'm just kind of going and getting in some different designs. So um, I'm going to work on that and you work on yours and we'll go from there. Okay, we just want to get the pencil design drawing done um, on our snowman. Nice line drawing. Don't worry about shading too much in. We're going to take care of that next time, okay? I know it's tough to come up with some of those um, designs, so you can always Google image search Zentangles designs um, or just black and white designs to see what you come up with. Um, keep it simple. It's a lot easier to uh, do the next part, okay? So good luck, and we'll see you next time.